Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we'll be discussing on the foramens of the base of skull. Introduction This topic is a popular OSCE question in anesthesia. The base of skull is divided into the anterior, middle, and posterior cranial fossa. Cranial fossae The internal surface of the cranial base has three large depressions that form the bowl-shaped floor of the cranial cavity. From highest to lowest, the anterior cranial fossa, middle cranial fossa, and posterior cranial fossa. The anterior cranial fossa is the shallowest of the three cranial fossa and houses the anterior and inferior parts of the frontal lobes of the brain, olfactory bulb, olfactory tract, and orbital gyri. It is formed anteriorly by the frontal bone, in the middle by the ethmoid bone, and posteriorly by the body and lesser wings of the sphenoid. Anterior and lateral boundaries are formed by the inner surface of the frontal bone. Posterior medial boundary is formed by the limbus of the sphenoid bone. Posterior lateral boundary is formed by the lesser wings of the sphenoid. Inferior boundary is formed by the orbital plate of the frontal bone. Cribiform plate and crystal galli of the ethmoid, an anterior aspect of the body and lesser wings of the sphenoid bone. Structures from anterior to posterior Groove for the superior sagittal sinus, groove for the anterior meningeal vessels, the foramen cecum located at the base of the frontal crest, a median bony extension of the frontal bone. The crystal galli, which is a thick, Median ridge of bone posterior to the foramen cecum, projecting superiorly from the ismoid. It provides attachment to the fox cerebri and may contain marrow, therefore can be T1 hyperintense on MRI. Slit and groove for a nasociliary nerve. Anterior ismoid foramen. Cribiform plate of the ismoid bone, which lies on each side of the crystal galli. The posterior ismoid foramen and olfactory fossa. The middle cranial fossa. This is a butterfly shaped depression of the skull base and lies between the anterior and posterior cranial fossa. It is narrow in the middle and wider laterally. It has a medial part and a deeper lateral part. It houses the pituitary gland and temporal lobes of the cerebral cortex. It is formed by the body and greater wings of the sphenoid, the squamous part of the temporal bone an anterior surface of the petrous part of the temporal bone. Anterior medial boundary is formed by the limbus of the sphenoid, anterior clenoid processes, and anterior margin of the chiasmatic groove. Anterior lateral boundary is formed by the posterior margins of the lesser wings of the sphenoid bone. Posterior medial boundary is formed by the dorsum cellae of the sphenoid. Posterior lateral boundary is formed by the superior margin of the petrous part of the temporal bone. Lateral boundary is formed by the squamous temporal bone, sphenoidal angles of the parietal bones, and greater wings of the sphenoid bone. Inferior boundary is formed by the body and greater wings of the sphenoid and the squamous and petrous part of the temporal bone. Structures from anterior to posterior. In the medial part, the chiasmatic groove, tuberculum cellae, anterior clenoid process, middle clenoid process, cella thoracica, carotid grooves, which lies on either side of the cella thoracica, the dorsum cellae, and the posterior clenoid processes. At the lateral part, the superior orbital fissure, the foramen rotundum, the foramen ovale, foramen spinosum, and foramen lacerum. The posterior cranial fossa is the most posterior aspect of the skull base. It is the largest and deepest of the three cranial fossae. It houses the pons, medulla oblongata, and the cerebellum. It is formed by the occipital bone, dorsum cellae of the sphenoid, petrous and mastoid parts of the temporal bone, and mastoid angle of the parietal bone. Anterior medial boundary is the dorsum cellae of the sphenoid. Anterior lateral boundary is the superior border of the petrous part of the temporal bone. Lateral boundary is the squamous and mastoid part of the temporal bone. Posterior boundary is the squamous part of the occipital bone, groove for transfer sinus, and internal occipital protuberance. 
The inferior boundary is the mastoid part of the temporal bone and the squamous, condyla and basilar parts of the occipital bone. Structures from anterior to posterior, the internal acoustic meatus, the clevis, the foramen magnum, groove for superior petrosal sinus, jugular foramen, hypoglossal canal, vestibular aqueduct, condyloid foramen of the condyla canal, internal occipital crest, cerebellar fossae, internal occipital protuberance, and grooves for the transverse and sigmoid sinuses. Foramens in the base of the skull. Foramens at the anterior cranial fossa includes the foramen cecum, olfactory foramina, anterior ismoid foramen, and posterior ismoid foramen. The foramen cecum is located at the frontal ismoidal suture. It is typically impervious. It may contain emissary vein from the nose to the superior sagittal sinus, nasal and cephalocele, epidermoid or dermoid cyst, or nasal glioma. The olfactory foramina, also known as the cribiform foramina, is located in the cribiform plate of the ismoid. It contains cranial nerve 1, axons of olfactory cells in olfactory epithelium that forms the olfactory nerves. The anterior ismoid foramen is located in the ismoid bone and contains anterior ismoidal vessels and nerve. The posterior ismoidal foramen is located in the ismoid bone and contains posterior ismoidal vessels and nerve. Middle cranial fossa The optic foramen or optic canal is located in the lesser wing of the sphenoid. It contains cranial nerve 2 and the ophthalmic artery. The superior orbital fissure is located between the greater and lesser wing of the sphenoid and opens anteriorly into the orbit. It contains nerves such as cranial nerve 3, cranial nerve 4, cranial nerve V1, cranial nerve 6 and sympathetic fibers. Other contents include the superior ophthalmic vein, orbital branch of the middle meningeal artery, and dural recurrent branch of the lacrimal artery. The foramen rotundum is located in the greater wing of the sphenoid. It lies posterior to the medial end of the superior orbital fissure. It runs a horizontal course to an opening on the anterior aspect of the root of the greater wing of the sphenoid into a bony formation, the pterygopalatine fossa. This fossa lies between the sphenoid, maxilla and the palatine bones. It contains cranial nerve V2, artery of the foramen rotundum, and emissary veins. The pterygoid canal is located in the sphenoid bone inferior medial to the foramen rotundum. It contains the median artery and nerve. The foramen ovale is located in the sphenoid bone. It is a large foramen posterior lateral to the foramen rotundum. It opens inferiorly into the infratemporal fossa. It contains cranial nerve V3, accessory meningeal artery, emissary veins between the cavernous sinuses and the pterygoid plexus, optic ganglion, occasionally nervous spinosis and lesser petrosal nerve. Foramen spinosum This foramen is located in the sphenoid bone and lies posterior lateral to the foramen ovale. It opens into the infratemporal fossa in relationship to the spine of the sphenoid. Contents include cranial nerve V3 branch nervous spinosis middle meningeal artery, and middle meningeal vein. Next is the foramen lacerum, also known as the sphenopetrocleval synchondrosis. It is located in the temporal bone anterior to the opening of the carotid canal in the middle cranial fossa. Structure Foramen lacerum is not a true aperture. It is occluded in life by a layer of fibrocartilage. It appears as an opening only in the dried skull, i.e. it is an artifact of the dried cranium. The internal carotid artery passes across the foramen lacerum above the fibrocartilaginous plate but does not traverse it. Contents of the foramen lacerum The nerve of the pterygoid canal emerges from the foramen to enter the pterygoid canal. The greater petrosal nerve, deep petrosal nerve, sympathetic plexus, meningeal branch of the ascending pharyngeal artery, and emissary veins from the cavernous sinus to the pterygoid venous plexus. The carotid canal is located in the petrous temporal bone and contains the internal carotid artery and sympathetic plexus. The foramen vasali 
is present only in 17% of people. It is located in the greater wing of the sphenoid. It contains a sphenoidal emissary vein linking the pterygoid venous plexus in the infratemporal fossa to the cavernous sinus. Formants in the posterior cranial fossa. Internal acoustic meatus located in the temporal bone anterior superior to the jugular foramen. This foramen contains cranial nerve 7 and 8 and the labyrinthine artery. The jugular foramen is located between the petrous temporal and occipital bones. It contains cranial nerve 9, 10 and 11, the meningeal branches of the occipital and ascending pharyngeal arteries and internal jugular vein superior bulk. The hypoglossal canal is located in the occipital bone between the occipital condyle and jugular tubercle superior to the anterolateral margin of the foramen magnum. It contains cranial nerve 12. The foramen magnum is the largest foramen of the skull. It is located in the occipital bone in the most inferior part of the posterior cranial fossa. Anterior margin is the bastion. Posterior margin is the opistion. Anterior relation is the basilar part of the occipital bone Anterolateral relations includes the occipital condyles, hypoglossal canal, and jugular foramen. Posterior relations includes the squamous part of the occipital bone with the internal occipital crest. Contents of the foramen magnum includes the medulla oblongata, the spinal cord which becomes continuous with the medulla oblongata of the brain, meninges, spinal part of the accessory nerve, anterior and posterior spinal arteries, tectorial membrane and ala ligaments, vertebral arteries, and veins. The condyla canal is present in 50-60% to 60 of people. It is located in the condyla fossa of the posterior cranial fossa, posterior to the occipital condyles. It contains emissary veins connecting the sigmoid sinus to the occipital vein and meningeal branch of the occipital artery. The mastoid foramen is located in the posterior margin of the mastoid process, Within the temporal occipital suture, it is variable in size, number, and position. It contains emissary veins connecting to the sigmoid sinus and meningeal branch of the occipital artery. Other formants of the skull relevant to anesthesia. The incisive foramen is located in the oral cavity maxillary bone. It is posterior to the central incisor teeth. It is a depression in the midline of the bony palate into which the incisive canal open. Contents includes the nasopalatine nerve and the sphenopalatine artery and vein. The greater palatine foramen is located in the oral cavity between the maxillary and palatine bones. It contains the greater palatine nerve, artery and vein. The lesser palatine foramen is located in the palatine bone in the oral cavity. It contains the lesser palatine nerve, artery and vein. The stylomastoid foramen is located at the exterior aspect of the temporal bone. It contains the cranial nerve 7 and stylomastoid artery. The supraorbital foramen is located in the frontal bone and contains the supraorbital nerve, artery, and vein. The zygomatical facial foramen is located in the zygomatic bone and contains the zygomatical facial nerve. The infraorbital foramen is located in the maxillary bone and contains the infraorbital nerve, artery, and vein. The mental foramen is located in the mandible and contains the mental nerve, artery, and vein. These are my references. Thank you.